doing tonight? Uh, I wanted to uh, jump on here. I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the chair. Um, it's in the kitchen right now because uh, I'm going to wheel this sucker in the, into the uh, computer room. This thing is huge and heavy. Um, this, this chair is definitely no joke. This thing is like a beast. Um, as you can tell by the size of this thing, this thing is like humongous. And it feels good with the with the neck rest for this thing. Um, putting it together, um, uh, when it first showed up, the FedEx truck showed up. Um, I thought, oh, you know, I can get that off the truck. Uh, it took both of us to carry it in. This is a really high end, very heavy uh, computer chair. Um, by uh, uh, NS Seats. Um, great company uh definitely check them out online um i've noticed with this one it uh it, it's definitely the uh, tubular framing that they have in this chair is i mean it's like amazing um it's all tubular frame uh lifetime warranty onto it uh the back uh lumbar support on this uh on the bottom of it it's it's amazing um I've noticed so far already that the lumbar support helps today. I was like, oh, man. Hey, Val, how are you doing tonight? I figure I would uh, jump on my uh, phone being um, I haven't gotten the uh, the chair to the uh, other room yet, so it will be shortly. I've been, like, loving the uh, uh, the headrest. Oh. I think I could fall asleep in this tonight, but I don't dare to. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But nice chair. Thank you, uh, Legendary Explorer. Um, and I love the way your tank turned out tonight. It uh, it was very good. And I, I, you were definitely right. It does look like um, instead of having the electrical um, one tank, they just basically uh, they probably sell both of them. But you'd probably, I'd, I'd look up that company and see else what, what they have on there. But definitely have a good night, buddy. Thank you very much for stopping in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's. Um, yeah, definitely, bud. Um, and uh, I should be, uh, as soon as uh, my one friend Ron gets a lot better, I should be down to his place shortly. Um, just been waiting for him to get better, so you know, I definitely will be getting the whole entire Sizzler kit off of him as well, so that way I can do a review on them. Um, but yeah, it um, having the uh, gentleman help me bring it in, the FedEx guy, he was like, uh, you're probably going to need some help. And happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope everybody had a really great day. Mine was good, Val. Mine was very good. Tiring, though. It was like, oh, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just a, the change in the weather coming up, but my hip is acting up, which has been for I don't know how many days now. I think if I just rip my leg off, I think maybe I'll just feel better. <laughs> Roger! Well, I noticed that on the slip that this was... um shipped uh airmail to syracuse to syracuse gathered from fedex and then Fed, uh, fedex shipped it right down here t uh tonight um i got it about seven no six six forty five around there but i tell you what you definitely need help to get this thing off the fedex truck this is no light chair holy cow this thing weighs about like felt like 300 pounds because me and him lifted it up uh slid it off the back Grabbed it, brought it in, because he asked me, he goes, do you need any help getting it? I said, no, nah, I'll get it. And I'm like, no, uh, I'm going to need help. And uh, the uh, the lumbar support really does help the back after putting this together. Because the bottom piece is heavy as heck. The top part that you mount to the bottom is heavier than heck. Um, I mean, it was well, it was well uh, made. This thing is definitely built to the T. Um, and I'm loving this part. I'm loving the back, the back support. As you can tell, I have not even given, you know. Uh, now this is my new Doug Idish chair. <laughs> so if you see me really falling asleep in, in the chair, you'll know why. And look, there's no squeaks. Yay, no more squeaky chair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you what. No, I got to get out of the chair. Oh, it was comfortable though. <laughs> I did... Uh, there is one thing I, I, I made sure to put right onto it because uh, I have um, 
as you see, I have, it's a leather lotion and I make sure to always keep um, it because, yeah, they are made, but they they usually stay in the box for a while because you're not really sure on how long the company actually has them sitting in the box. So I make sure to have like a lotion, clean the leather really good because this here, I definitely want to keep this in like excellent condition. So, but uh, yeah, let me turn this around. The, uh, I mean, this thing is a beast. I mean, this this part is awesome. The lumbar is. Um, the whole entire thing, though, yeah, I might have some red onto it. Stupid me. I used uh, my, those shop rags. I have, like, a whole bag, brand new bag full of them. But uh, then when I, and, it, and it's really cool. I mean, I do like these because a lot of times if I'm gaming or whatever, I can actually have these turn to wherever I want to. But then I found out how good the chair really is. You can tell on how good these old farmhouses are by just letting your chair go. <laughs> it, it's like, yeah, how can how can you tell your, your floor is not level? Just push your chair a little bit. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, a couple of different times I've seen his other videos that he did um, a while ago. Um, I'm going to try doing this really quick here. Bear with me. Um, yeah, because I haven't, uh, I haven't done, yeah, it's going to say bad connection, of course. Um, this does lay all the way down, but what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to try bringing this into the, the other room here. So bear with me. I'm holding on to the back of the chair and you guys at the same time, because this thing is heavy. And of course, everybody's going to shake around. Oh. This thing is like heavy. I don't know if it's supposed to help my back or make it worse. Oof. But yeah, the other one's already outside. And now I can move the couch down a little bit. You didn't see that. I didn't do it. I swear. Don't drop me. It sounds like he's going to fight it tonight. Oh, he's fighting it tonight. But. Oh, this is a lot different. This is like, <laughs> I have to adjust the seat up. I think it's a little better now, but yeah, you could see the major difference on the sides of this thing. But uh, yeah, it's a really good chair. I don't know if I could get the good view of this one to actually... Uh, <laughs> Down we go. Uh, the question is if I can get back up now. Beast mode. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's not good on the back. <laughs> have it all the way down. Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Beast mode, what's up, buddy? Sorry, I disappeared there for a second. Um, Got the uh, new chair in today. This thing is amazing. Um... Definitely check out Anda Beast Mode. Uh, if you do a lot of gaming on the computer itself, uh, check out Anda. Um, the uh, yeah, Anda Seats. And uh, they're really good. Look at that. No squeaking. No squeaky. All that piping, though, I think it's screwing up my, my, uh, my phone a little bit. But, I mean, it does rock. I do like that part. Oh, the rocky part squeaky. First time trying that out, a little squeaky. Yeah, it does make my it does make my phone go all haywire with the with the um with all the piping in this. That's weird. Gary, what's up, buddy? Let me bring myself down. Maybe it'd be a little bit better for you guys to see me. There we go. But uh, I hope all you guys are having a uh, a good night. And, um, yeah, definitely, uh, uh, this was an awesome, and of course, come on, there we go, dang thing, I hate my phone at times, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, the way the, uh, this chair feels, the, uh, the cushioning on the bottom of this, I mean, there's a really good thickness to this, 
And I've noticed also that it does have a lifetime warranty on this tubular framing. That's a plus. I mean, a lot of these chairs you buy, they last, you throw it out. Um, 263 pounds all the way, but I mean, it said on there, um, 400 pounds that it holds and the, these arms come all the way forward. They can be slid back. So you actually have more support and I just got to figure out whereabouts to keep the arms cause it does go up or down, you know, and they tilt and everything. Um, but I definitely want to give a shout out. Thank you very much to, I love trading. Um, this means a lot and i mean i'm glad i had help bringing this thing in uh this thing weighs a ton so this thing guys i tell you this thing is made really really well i mean this thing is made to a, a to perfection um but uh the um hey dennis how are you doing tonight buddy yeah, um, he's a great guy. And like I said last night, you know, it's it's a shame what he's going through with everybody saying he was fake and this, that, and the other thing. But we know better. His true his true fans and everybody that uh, he he's part of the family. I told him um, uh, I had emailed him tonight, let him know it came in, and uh, I told him to stop in sometime into our uh, our uh, chats um, sometime. I told him I said, yeah, I said uh, Val um is in there with us and and there's a lot of great people in here so uh roger what's up buddy hope you're having a good night man the uh oh yeah but it's comfortable i mean it, the back support is just i might have to sleep in this tonight if i had if it only if it had the leg rest you know almost like a recliner i think i'd be all set <laughs> but uh but yeah it's Doesn't make noise. Well, that's the the desk. But I think it's that. I gotta lock that back in. This thing is for some. When you come forward. It makes my. Uh, I notice when I do that, it makes my uh, thing go out of whack. My phone. Sorry about that. Yeah, it already has a pillow uh, on this one, Gary. On the back of this, there's a pillow right here, and it's like. Yeah, so it had to be like this the whole entire time. Uh, the night fall asleep. I can't do that. It does. This thing, this model actually is really comfortable, and I, I actually like the way this one feels. Um, you definitely would not want this to be carried up any flight of stairs. I tell you that much. I'm I'm glad I only had to bring it up the porch steps, and that was it. And uh, it was, and it's packed well. I mean, it was really made well. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> Yes, indeed, either, uh, Dennis. The, um, oh, you want to see the chair? Okay. Oh, oh. yeah, I got to get used to hitting things, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's the chair, Dennis. If you can see the, uh, the top of it. And then you got the bottom part all the way down through. I, I like the stitching on the leather, too. I mean, it's really nice. If anybody can see the stitching on that. It's got some really nice stitching to it. So, already sitting on this thing, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> all I need now is a coffee cup holder. I'll be all set. Well, coffee cup holder on one side, beer holder on the other. I'll be all set. Long straw. Now, I have to do like a Keurig. Uh, I have to build like an armrest Keurig. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's it's comfortable. It's well made. Squeaky. About as squeaky as my other one was. Let's figure out. I might have a. Is the bottom of this loose a little bit? Maybe it's one of these things. Is it the bottom I didn't tighten up? It was uh, interesting trying to get everything together in this because there's. It does come with all the screws already in the holes. You know, you just got to take them out, put everything together. Um, the. Uh, the arms were already on the bottom base part. Uh, the top, I mean, the top and bottoms are, they're heavy. They're, so putting it together, um, dumb, dumb me, what I did was I started from the base up. So putting that top piece on with the, the uh, seat part, 
then uh, trying to lift that other piece up to get it lined up and get it locked into place. That was uh, that was the fun part. And uh, I was thankful that it went together. And um, just the top was just to get it uh, correctly. You have to push it down a little bit. Uh, but after that, it seems to be okay. Might be just the leather, the back of this part. No, it might be that. Oh, it's the... No, I don't know what the heck it is. Yeah, it might be that. It might be that spring part because it's angled. It's kind of like this. So the top of your chair is connected to this section. And this lower part is where your base is. And it pivots on it's it's a weird design. It's actually something different that I've ever seen before. So it's but I mean it's not I don't know if it's just something for forward. No. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody had a great Valentine's Day. Uh, it was a great day. Um, the weather is, I'm noticing, I don't know if it's just the way the weather is, but it's just been feeling like blah. It's this new warm weather coming in, thank goodness. I'm not complaining about that part. No, because tomorrow's going to be about 50. 70 would be good, but 50 I'll take. Compared to being like uh, um, very cold or in the 30s or, you know, 13 degree weather, you know, crap like that, I am done with. I am really fed up with that kind of cold weather anymore. But, um, yeah, definitely, Roger. Check out I Love Trading. I mean, he's a really great guy, a um, uh, really good friend. Um, when I emailed him tonight, let him know this came in, and I said, yeah, you know, um, the uh, uh, I almost wished he was here to help me pick it up because it was not like <laughs> this thing was a beast. It's like, good thing. Um, the I, I know why it's all that tubular uh, piping because um, you know a lot of the other um, computer chairs you know they always kind of like that chipboard crap that don't last long or um, I don't know how the other uh, framing on some of the other gaming chairs are but I mean this thing here is like built like uh, a race car it's got enough tubing into it that's probably why it's so heavy and that's what she said yeah <laughs> Oh, I have to do the test. Let's see how it is. If I put my leg up, because I'm always used to put my leg up on these things. So let's see. Hmm. This is pretty good. Comfy. I mean, it's got the room. Um, this is the king size. Uh-oh. Just put my foot up, made my uh, connection go haywire. Well, that's weird. Unless it's just the way my phone is tonight. Mind you, this is not my original phone, so... That's probably half the reason. It's an Acatel. <laughs> but uh, definitely smash that like the, uh, like the, look at the, hit the like the, hit the like button down below. And uh, definitely hit the bell icon. Um, check out other people on here, become members. If you if you see anybody uh, that you uh, haven't already became a member with. But um, I look tall now. I got it all the way down too, but um the uh this one is like it holds up to 400 pounds i'm not gonna ever get that big but i'm only two 263 what did oh i did look tall i'm only six foot judge reg hey buddy how are you doing tonight man hope you had a good uh valentine's day dead or a uh, drone pool what are you up to buddy hope you had a good valentine's day as well Yes, yes, indeed. See, now I just noticed too. Now that I did all the uh, moderators on my computer, now that I'm using my phone, everybody stays a moderator. Cool beans. I like that part. <laughs> Watch out, Kim. Got to remember that part now. Val's on, so no more bringing out the spanking drone on Valentine's Day next year, maybe next year. But uh, yeah, I um. The flu is gone. Yes, thank goodness for that. Got a new laptop today. Oh, what'd you get? Toshiba, Asus. Uh, what kind did you get there, bud? For a laptop. This one is really good. This one actually turns better than my other one did. Oh, it's ready. This thing will probably take off on me. The pole. Yeah, Kim's got the pole. <laughs> pool. <laughs> See, that was the drone uh, drone pool. That was because uh, Kim's, you know, he's always got either apple pie, the pole, 
fork so that's where he got that from that's that's where that happened <laughs> oh the dell isn't spur on how many um how many gigs you got into that one for in i'm not sure what dell and spur what processor that one's got into that uh dell and spur on mm, now you got me thinking um i mean it, the uh I'm not sure if the prices uh how they are out there for the uh the laptops, but I know like um eight gigs of RAM. And usually for what you're gonna be using it for, um if you're gonna use it for, you know, video video video, video for video editing, um if you got the right software into it, it should be perfect. Yep. The uh, I know some of the uh, Asus that we have around here, uh, they're not bad. The Dells, um, depends on which model you're actually getting um, for price wise, but um, yeah, I I don't really go. I mean, my wife usually likes using the laptops and stuff, but me, I always go with the gaming um, desktop uh, PCs. Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, I did get her one time the, uh, what was it, the Alienware uh, M11X. Yeah, I gotten her that one. But uh, she didn't like it. I don't know why. I liked it. it was perfect. Why'd you sell it? I didn't sell it. It was yours because you wanted to sell it. Just don't blame that one on me. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But, uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good computer. The, um... Yeah, Asus. Um, depends on which one. If you look at the backgrounds of each one of them, I mean, each one of them is going to have a different one. So, the Rogue Asus, yeah. I mean, you got Asus, Toshiba, Macintosh, I think, makes one. Macintosh? I'm not sure if Macintosh does or not. Um, in your HP, you probably can. Bring it over sometime. I have to look at it. Is Dan on here? Chrome Pro. The, um, I don't know, is he? I don't know he's on here, is he? Well, I know, uh, Drown Pool. Yeah, Drown Pool. See, Kim, you got me started now. You and your pole. Now I'm saying Drown. I'm blaming that one on Kim. That's Kim's fault. You're fired. That's it. <laughs> but, yeah, it wasn't a bad day today. We actually had some sun out. It was, um... Uh, a little chilly, but there's a little bit of the snow did melt. It did get up there for uh, a pretty good uh, temperature. Uh, I think it was, what, 40? Tomorrow's supposed to be 50, yeah, so that's not bad. The, um, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I got it's a, it's a. Instead of just saying it once, it was like it's a, it's a. Hey, I didn't even take my medicine yet. But uh, <laughs> the um, there's a lot of uh, you know. Uh, I oh, I do want to say um, uh, a lot of our prayers are going out for uh, everybody in Florida right now. What has been going on down there with the school shooting? Um, so thoughts and prayers for everyone in in Florida um, during this time. So much love, everybody. Give a lot of support if you can. Um, and definitely, uh, we feel for everyone that's taking a loss down there. It's really bad. I couldn't believe it. 73 here tomorrow. I'll take your weather. You take ours. How's that? Even trade. Yeah. Very windy here Thursday. Going to be worse. Yeah. Well, I hope your weather gets better there, Roger. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you heard about that one, uh, Roger, about that uh, school shooting. There was like um, seven seven kids had uh, passed away. Major, major loss. But, uh, yeah, um, I know right now there's going to be a lot of uh, heartache down there right now. But like I say, definitely show a lot of support for everyone down in Florida going through rough times right now. You're in your 30s now, Val. Oh, you mean your temperature? You just wish you were in your 30s again. And yeah, me too. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. 
in with the shipping cost. From Berea to Canada for a 4.4 pound drone. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, unless you look up um, what their shipping cost would be and see if there's an estimating that they can do on it. I'm not sure on how that works. Well, I hope everything's okay down there for them, Roger. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. I forgot where in Florida it was. Just having fun. Moe's in the house. Moe, Moe. How are you doing tonight? I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's been basically, uh, I think, getting cabin fever really bad. I think that's where um, a lot of people have just been going nuts. Rahan! Florida is in the house. Yes. I imagine you probably heard all about that down there already today there. <laughs> Rosie Rose, how are you doing tonight? Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Who did? Oh, Rosie Rose wanted to see the chair. Oh, gosh, make me get out of the chair. It's so comfortable, I didn't want to get out. Look at this thing, Rosie Rose. It's got the pillow on the back. It's got the it's got the Anda seat on the back. This thing is like a beast. This thing is a beast. It's got stitching in the leather. It's got the lumbar support. You know, everything. This thing is. This thing is. Oh, awesome. I love it. This thing is really good. But, uh, yeah, Ron, I wasn't sure if you heard anything about that down there yet or not, about that, uh, the shooting in Florida, bud. Thank you, Rosie Rose. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I would have gone live, but I was doing this out there in the, uh, in the kitchen before I wheeled it out. Yeah, it was, well, that's on Facebook. I'm not sure. But uh, being at, uh, you know, he lived down there. I thought maybe he would have. But Florida is a big section, so. But like I say, um, our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody at uh, in Florida that uh, live in that area and have lost loved ones down there. So, Dev Drone Pilot, what are you doing tonight, buddy? Thank you, thank you, and uh, yeah, it's um, my buddy's brother was in it. He got shot, but fighting. Well, our thoughts and prayers go out to him, bud. I hope everything uh, pulls through for him, all right. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's definitely really rough right now with a lot of people down there. But, uh, oh, oh, God, oh, oh, I'm so sorry about that one. But, uh, yes, thank you very much. Just having fun. Uh, and, uh, I think that's probably why I'm getting tired all of a sudden. Now I'm in like such a comfy chair. I'm like, oh, and, uh. <laughs> it is, it does have a lot of, it is really comfortable. New My new bed? Yeah. Being it folds all the way down, I'm like, oh, this thing is comfortable. I love it. It is definitely a comfortable chair. It's I gotta get used to this one. Because I know where the pillow is and stuff and um it is like for really tall people because uh I've noticed even with um bringing this all the way up to as far as the bottom goes, um my feet are flat still, but it has some really I mean it's so comfortable. I mean it hugs really good. Um with the tubular uh, all the way through this, you don't feel nothing at all. It's, I mean, it's cushioned really good. Yeah. I have a very old cho uh, chair, but. <coughs> I used to have a, a a nice one. It was a leather one and everything. Um, what? When, when was this? Not too, not too far from where we live. I've got uh, friends and uh, used to be 
uh, my cousin's ex-wife and kids just live down there, and his son and everything. Um, just finding out some news right now. Uh, about two hours ago, there was an explosion down where they live. What the heck blew up down there? Well, I'm, I know the Amtrak and everything runs through there, but I know there's a factory on the other side. I don't know if you can get a hold of Karen to find out what's going on, but hopefully What's everybody. Their old house? Huh? Their old house. Their old house. What old house? Karen's old house blew up. What? Not the one they're in now. The one they're they're, they're living in right now blew up. That ain't good. Yeah, just finding out some information and just uh, trying to find out if everybody's all right there. Is that what she put up? What was it, Karen's? So she's hmm, I'm not finding out any information yet. I'm getting bits and pieces from the wife. Must be I don't know. Wife tells me one thing, but it's down where uh Karen lives, uh but she was saying an old house, and I'm like, what? Is it Karen's house or what it is? So I'm like trying to hear from her. I'm like, you gotta tell me to tell it's, her old house. it's an old house down the street from them. Not their old house, but it's an old house down the street from them. Down the road from them. Okay, that's uh, you're telling me it's their old house, but it's an old house down the road from them. No, it wasn't their house, so okay, that's a plus. Thank goodness for that. All right. <laughs> Alarm over. Yeah, yeah, so it was a house that's a couple of houses down from that, I guess. <clears throat> Probably a gas fire? Oh, my God, our natural gas down that way. So. Yeah. But, yeah, thank goodness, knock on wood, that was uh, not her place, so that's a plus. But, I mean, it's good that everybody was definitely checking on her. I didn't know until just now. I was like, whoa, what's going on? But, uh, what, 18 school shootings within 44 days? The hell is this world coming to with people? That's insane. 18 school shootings within 44 days. That's That's insane. But, you know, a lot of times it's... Don't worry, I'm just putting some uh, hand sanitizer in. That uh, even though I clean my hands with uh, regular hand soap or whatever, Big Tiny, what is up, buddy? Yes, definitely smash that like button down below. I hope you and uh, Goldilocks Hernandez are also uh, doing well tonight, and happy Thanksgiving to you. Or yeah, happy Thanksgiving. What in the hell was that all about? Okay. Um, yeah, that was a Doug Itis moment, like way beyond, yeah, happy happy Thanksgiving, yeah, that was a real good one there, Big Tiny, I, I do apologize for that one, happy Valentine's Day to you guys, with a turkey you've thrown in there, you know, in between, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting one, by, uh, by no means, uh, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving, what the heck, you take care, Rosie, you taking off, are you? Maybe you should take your meds. No, no, that would just make me, I don't know, probably 10 times worse. I'd usually take them about now or sooner, but I didn't yet, so I'll be okay. That's only just to help my back. That's nothing that would help with my... <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. But, uh... Yeah, I hope everybody has been having a great day today. And uh, if you haven't already checked out, Crystal Justice uh, did a live feed a little while ago. She has a giveaway going on. 
So definitely check out her last video she just did. Uh, like, subscribe, write a comment down below. Uh, the 19th is when she's doing the uh, the giveaway for that one. And uh, definitely check out um, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on uh, Friday. Um, MB95 TSI and also Kath and Cook. Uh, they're going to be live at 7 p.m. Um, and they're going to be having a guest tonight, uh, which will be, I think, wasn't it Greg Whirlybird supposed to be on? Yes. Uh, he will be as their uh, their guest for uh, Friday, but um, there will be other people on there as well. Big Tiny, I just visited your channel. Wink, wink. Michael Quinn, what's up, buddy? Happy Valentine's to you too, buddy. And uh, I'm glad everybody is uh, having a great night. But uh, yeah, this chair is like. I think I can I can really lean back big time with this chair. Being it does have the lumbar support and it does have the, but it's, I know it's this part here, the Velcro, or it's uh, clips in the back, but I think being I'm tall, that, uh, I mean, the way it sits, this actually sits lower, but bringing it up a little bit, that's not bad. <laughs> big tiny. I hope uh, everybody is, um, been checking everybody else's memberships out <laughs> as well i always try to say i just say membership or become a member check out a member like a member it's uh the most stupidest thing that we can't say the s word anymore snow Sub substitutions <laughs> yeah said cast the tune salisbury you know I just said, I don't know how many S words there. Copyright. Not much. Much here, Doug. Doing good there, uh, Michael. Definitely doing good tonight. Mm, kids are all asleep right now, and everybody's just chilling out. Don't pull is what, Kira? Gimbal. Any good? Hmm? That's right. That's right. When are you guys going on vacation there, uh, Big Tiny and Goldilocks? I have 700 views from 1,000. Everybody definitely check out Bowel's Life Health Journey. Try to check out her membership there. If you like her membership, then she'll like your membership. And then Kim will come around and, and bring out the spanking drone. And, you know, then it'll just be a big party going on. Oh, hopefully tomorrow. Well, I hope you guys have a really great vacation. Kim's trying to figure out a way of actually hooking up a hand on his drone. You know he is. He's like, hmm. What did you think of that one? 10,000. <laughs> so, yeah, we've just been doing odds and ends stuff around here and just... Um, hanging out and the uh one of the therapists that comes to check uh junior try to get speech up a little bit more we work with him but um it's uh just a little bit longer for for some kids so uh he's been doing really good and even she said he's right up there so that's a plus i'm trying to figure out how to get this free drone is worth it well, it depends on how much you'd have to pay to actually have a shit. <laughs> the second channel, I'll holler at you. There you go, see? There you go, Val. Getting much love. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, but yeah, I wasn't sure if uh, anybody has been into uh, NASCAR or not. I know uh, the season is ready, uh, and I have been waiting for way too long for it to start back up again. <laughs> But uh, not sure if uh, if you are, but let me know what uh, who your favorite driver is. Well, one of my favorite ones is usually uh, he's retiring. Uh, I I know why. I mean, he's basically you know you can't race a ghost, um, and it doesn't work that way. But uh, I know Junior's leaving. Um, I wasn't sure if Dana was leaving or not. If she was leaving or not, I wasn't sure. I thought she was, but I'm not sure. I'd have to look up and find out. Um, Probably shortly, but. 
Yeah, I don't think she likes the uh, NASCAR circuit as much as she did the open wheel. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Bavaria. Yeah, I don't know what Bavaria's shipping uh, is there, Kim. So I, I'm, you're kind of SOL for me. I, I couldn't tell you. I have no idea what it would cost. Two goats and a camel and one mule, maybe? Uh, not sure. Yeah, it'd be expensive, definitely, Val. Big Tiny Hernandez. He's on another channel now. It's a monster drone, though. But it's free. Yeah, uh, you just got to figure out, though. The only problem is it's free, but the shipping is where it probably costs you more than buying a thing. Awesome, man. That'd be cool, Big Tiny. Thank you very much. Checking out memberships. Become a member. But, uh, yeah, it's... um. I mean, I don't know if there's a way you can actually look up on Bavaria and see what their shipping laws or whatever they are and, and see what things would cost to be shipped out for weight-wise. Frame is 1600 US dollars. Yeah. Weight-wise and everything, you figure Bavaria to here, that's pretty good way. So I imagine that would probably cost a pretty good penny to have everything shipped here, though. But nobody will know until after you. Um, is there a way to find out from whoever can that is sending it, or if they could find out for you on how much it would cost to be sent from there to you? Um, that would be the only way I could tell you to find out. Yeah, because I, I don't I don't know offhand what that would be. Yeah, I was uh, earlier, I'm glad my stomach is doing well. I had a humongous bowl of baked beans and uh, hot dogs cut up into it, bacon, and yeah. So I am safe, neutral, nothing happening yet. That's a plus. Or go on eBay and check what it would cost. Find something, yeah, from what... Uh, Anything from like Bavarium and see what the weight weight or uh, weight is, and then estimate it to your uh, shipping, and see how much it would cost. Because uh, you could do it that way. Two kilogram drone for free. Hmm. To find out what it would cost to. Uh... Oh, excuse me. Uh, find out how much it would cost to be shipped to America and then have it shipped up there. I'm not sure which would be better or cheaper for you. Um, I've never had to buy anything from Bo uh, Bavaria before. 10-inch props. Yeah, that's a good size. Right, it's definitely a good size. But uh, 23 Savage. This is Dave. How much would a chair cost? Dave? Who's Dave? 23 Savage. Depends on what you bought, buddy. Couldn't tell you. Um, it's pretty big now. Oh, yeah. Dave, Dave. Dave who? Right, anytime, Big Tiny. No problem there. You yeah, gotta tell him to add chocolate to the package. It's fully equipped too. Nice. The Val's got the wrench tonight. That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm still trying to think of Bavaria. That's 
<laughs> That's a heck of a drone, though. The only thing is, though, it um, unless you have them ship it piece by piece, but still, in the end, it would still cost you about the same amount, probably. In the end, smash the like button. Yes, definitely smash the like button. You fight anymore? You need the permit. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I, I mean, I had to get the, uh, um, I had to register mine with the, well, I had to get the registered uh, FAA thing that's good for three years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it was only like five bucks for three years, but the other stuff uh, down the road, if I'm going to start doing anything else, uh, it might be worth getting, but bless you. You get any on you? No? I think you got some on me. Jeez, God, that sounded nasty over there. Now she's sneezing. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, what do I have? Uh, the, uh, P3. The DJI Phantom, uh, 3. It's just a standard one. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I've been looking at a couple of different ones, and uh, it depends. I mean, that Solo, uh, the one video that Chris had shown me, you know, and uh, I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, that was, I, I do like the Solos really good. I do like those. But um, the, uh, uh, I'm not sure. I know that, like, if you go and do certain things that, uh, I mean, I only got like a simple FFA or FAA um, uh, registration from them. It's like three years for five bucks uh, for up here in New York, but I don't know how much it is usually anywhere else. But um, I mean, it's not bad for five bucks for three years. It's usually it would be more, but um, you know, they just show you the rules, and regulations, go on the website and go through all the rigmarole, but, um, strip and ship, there you go, if you show them a spank, you just tell them that you just want them to strip and ship, and you'd be all set there again, <laughs> alrighty bud, much love man, thank you very much for stopping in, I hope you guys have a good night, <laughs> over the half pound limit, have my FAA on them, yeah. Crystal's in the house. <laughs> didn't get the oh, she didn't get the notification. Might have not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, four point four point four pounds is a pretty good sized bird. I hate that. Yeah. Um, I still don't. Every once in a while. Now I'm not getting some of them on um, my email. So I, I have to uh, go through everybody and uh, check the like bell. I got to keep hitting them again. I've been doing that, you know. And uh, so I try to go and unhit the bell, re-hit the bell on every single one of them, seeing if maybe it's just something that's screwing up with the system or whatever. But uh, it still is not working good. So I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> You pair is three pounds. Really? Oh. Nice, nice, nice. That's right. Well, hopefully. Little man has not fallen asleep yet, Crystal. He's upstairs. He's making all noise and everything. He's He'll fight it till the end, and then he'll just be out for the rest of the night. But, uh, yeah, I plan on... Um, uh, it's been a movie I've been wanting to watch, so I might watch that tonight. Well, there's been a couple of different ones that look good. Um, uh, where is that one? Where is that one? I just saw the previews for it, and I know it's in here. Um, it's kind of like, uh, it almost reminds me of like Cloverfield, but it's way off. Um, Sound of Silence. I think that's what it is, or something like that. But uh, a couple of them that I've uh, have on, and I want to watch, like uh, finish watching that new 
the newer version of Blade Runner. Um, that one and uh, the what was the other one I have up? Oh, no, I gotta find it. Oh, I know that great. The Greatest Showman looks good. That one looks like a really good movie, so I'll have to definitely check those two out until I definitely find the other one. But, uh, but yeah, um, Chatterbox. Who's Chatterbox? I don't know what you're talking about. The Wakira, yeah. The gimbals and all sorts. So you're getting, well, like you said, it was fully loaded, so, um, even to find out from your uh, friend, Kim, on how much it would actually cost bit by bit. But, I mean, if it's even just cheaper to just send it all out, um, I'd have them just find out every single price there is. Finally up on my channel. Hit the like button and comment. Definitely, definitely. Everybody check out Crystals. I was telling everybody earlier about your uh, giveaway to go and check and like and subscribe and make sure they leave a comment on the bottom. So definitely check out uh, Crystal Justice's uh, video she's got out right now. And uh, like and become a member and leave a comment. Keep on saying that S word by accident. Dumb stupid copyright thing. I think they come up with the most ridiculous stuff too. And I'll tell them that. Boot him in the ass. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, I figured I would jump on really quick. I wanted to show uh, how the chair is. And it's a beast. It's heavy. This thing is a beast. Um, I definitely want to uh, give a shout out to uh, I Love Trading. Uh, definitely go check out his channel. Uh, check out members. Become a member. Leave comments. Um, but right now, I mean, he's going to be taking a little time off from giveaways to you know, get things situated, but I don't blame him. Uh, he's a hell of a great guy, and um, I try to show him as much love as possible on his channel, And uh, but yes, definitely go check out I Love Trading. Um, not for just the giveaways. I mean, the giveaways were awesome, but uh, you will learn some new sites and where to find some great products for a good price, and also, uh, I mean, he does have a couple of drone, he does do a couple of drone uh, videos on there as well. Um, the other day, I know he did one of the ones that had the uh, FPV on that one. Yep, check that one out, uh, Chris, sometime. But uh, like I say, before I leave, everybody, on Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, MB95 TSI, Captain Cook, and a special guest, which will be Greg Willybird, this Friday, Eastern Standard Time at 7 p.m. Check them out. Uh, you will love that. And uh, definitely check both of their uh, channels out as well. Crystal Justice, Val's Life, Health Journey, everybody that's in here, uh, love you guys. Uh, I hope you have a great night, and you guys take care.